I thought I'd be an obstetrician, but sitting at the dinner table with the physician and his family during my rural medicine rotation, hearing stories about how they had, in a way, become part of the patient's family, made me realize that I wanted a long-term relationship with patients like they did. After eight years of my own practice, I have often ended up caring for multiple generations of the same family. Grandparents, parents, siblings, and children. With raising children, everyone is involved. Then they become teenagers, and everything goes quiet for a while, until eventually, a few years later, they show up unannounced, and you kind of have to piece together what happened so you can move forward. Often a patient's healthcare journey is very similar. Most of my patients chuckle when I call them on their 50th to say, happy birthday. And then I have a conversation about how they're eligible for colon cancer screening. Almost everyone says they will do the screening and for 19 of my patients in the past eight years, this has led to an early diagnosis. For one woman, the early days of her suspicious test results was full of urgency and uncertainty. Something was wrong, but we didn't know what was needed. We did everything we could to get her connected to the cancer care system. And then everything went quiet. I received the occasional intervention or consult note that was pushed to me, but they were scattered and disconnected. It was kind of like the random text message or photos you get from a young adult who's traveling the world. And then one day she showed up again. After a few years and on her own without any notification or time for me to prepare for her arrival. When it comes to family, preparation matters because it shows that you care. When I get a discharge letter, my team and I can stratify their risk and reach out to them to let me know that they are home and we are here for them. Without that notification, we are scrambling, doing everything as they're sitting in the room, and they're wondering why we didn't have all the information. They often point to the computer and say, it should be in there, and it is, but putting information on net care isn't sufficient to help people feel cared for. As a family physician, the transitions between the care I provide and all other areas of the healthcare system are the most difficult. Things are getting better, but we can't stop where we are.